Maray na aga sa Indonga Boss Tourist in English. Good day, tourist. I am Mika, your tour guide for today. And this is our coach captain, Sir Mike. He has been driving for five years and he will make sure that we will have a safe and happy trip. So on behalf of KSAJ Travel Services, welcome to a paradise destination situated in the Bicol region of the Philippines, Albay. But before anything else, let me do the head count, starting with you. One, two, three, four. So you are all 20 tourists. And while we are heading to our first destination, I will just give you some trivias about Albay. Albay is located in the Bicol region in southeastern Luzon Island, and the capital of Albay is Legazpi City. The province here is generally mountainous with scattered fertile plains and valleys, and the most associated symbol in Albay is of course the Mayon Volcano, which is a near-perfectly cone-shaped active volcano with 2,462 meters high. So we're finally here to our first destination, but before we leave the bus, I will just give you some reminders. First, please put your trash in a proper disposal. Second, do not leave your things unattended. And last, if you have questions or need to make you feel better, don't hesitate to raise your hand or ask me because I always have my first aid kit here and I'm always ready to serve you. Is that clear? Yes! So, are you guys excited to our first destination? Yes! Alright, so welcome to a historical landmark situated in Albay, Kagsawa Ruins, which serves as the centerpiece of Kagsawa Ruins Park, where you can enjoy the scenic view of Mayon Volcano. What remains of a structure you see is the Kagsawa Church that was built in 1724. But sadly, it was buried during the Mayon Volcano's most explosive eruption on February 1, 1814. According to the historical accounts, the eruption buried the small town and the nearby areas and kills all the people who took refuge in the stone church. It is said to be the strongest eruption recorded to date. Only the church bell fray remained as a grim reminder of the devastating catastrophe happened in this place. So I will give you time to take pictures and enjoy the view of the Mayon volcano and the ruins. But once that you see this flag, it means that your time is up and we need to go to your next destination. Alright tourists, your time is up and we need to go to your next destination. But before that, let me do the head counts once again. Starting with you. One, two, three. So you are still 20 tourists. So let's go to your next destination that will be led by Tina. Thank you, Mika. Just mayad na hapon sa Intugabos in Bicol. Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat in Tagalog. And good afternoon to everyone in English. I'm Tina, T-I-N-A, your tour guide for this afternoon. And welcome to Hoyop Hoyopan Cave. Before we start our tour, I would like to remind you that there are plenty of stalagmites and stalactites that can be found inside the cave and it should not be touched since the rock buildup is formed by minerals skin oils can alter the surface tension that can affect its growth and that is why the floor is wet so please watch your step while exploring let me give you a brief history about the cave Hoyopoyopan cave is one of Albay's famous attractions because of its historic legacy for one, it has been around for a very long time, at about 3000 to 4000 BC. This 280 square meter cave is called Hoyop Hoyopan, a Bicolano term for blow of the wind. This huge and windy cave is filled with various shapes of rock formations where you can use your imagination to formulate different kinds of figures. One of the cave's opening is a window through which travelers can enjoy the splendid view of the Mayon volcano. The cave stood strong amidst all calamities that hit the town, making people consider it as a safe spot and a makeshift evacuation center. But before that, it was a refugee camp of the Filipinos during the Japanese occupation in World War II. It was used as a hospital and orphanage at that time. Are there any party goers here? During the martial era, when curfew was strictly imposed, this cave served as a safe haven for party goers. There are also passageways where it will test your skills in squeezing, crawling, and kneeling in order to reach the different chambers, including a mini pond and a dance floor. Sad to say that we only have limited time to explore this wonderful cave, but I know you'll surely enjoy the next destination that will be led by Ate Jira. 
thank you for your time and I hope you've enjoyed exploring the cave and learned something from me. Again, I'm Tina, leaving you a message that the great use of life is to spend it for something that will outlast it. God bless and be safe. Thank you, Miss Tina. Marhay na aga sa Indonga Bus Tours. I'm Jewel and I will be your third tour guide for this day. So guys, are you ready for our next destination? Yeah! I can't hear you! Yeah! Alright, tourists. Welcome to this beautiful hill situated in Kamalag at Bay, Kitindai Hills, or it is also known as Pilinat Hills. And if Bohol has Chocolate Hills and Cebu has Jag Mantalongan Range, Albay's equally beautiful reply is Kitindai Hills. It covers a land area of 400 hectares dotted with burden mounds or hills that resembles the famed chocolate hills in Bohol. But despite the similarities, Kitindai Hills offer a unique vibe and charm with the Mount Mayon in the backdrop. It is as if a combination of two iconic Philippine spots, dramatic and magical. Kitindai range from 100 to 130 meters in elevation, and there are no exact figures on how many mounds comprise the entire complex. But on 2015, two peaks opened for tourism purposes. It offers a 360-degree view of the area and the Mayon Volcano. The two peaks are connected by a single track trail, which can be reached within 15 minutes of gradual trekking, starting from this area. And guide is not necessary as the trail is well established. I will give you time to enjoy and take photos, but once you see this flag, it means your time is up and we need to go to our next destination. Tourists! Alright tourists, your time is up and we need to go to your next destination. It will be led by Miss Analea. Good day. I'm Analea Fedresa from KSH Travel Services and I will be your tour guide for your Subic Beach Tour. So, we're finally here at the Subic Beach but before we get off the boat, let me just give you some friendly reminders. If you do not know how to swim, stay on the shallow part of the beach because the waves can get pretty intense and if one of you gets injured, you have a first aid kit ready here. So, just a little info, info for you guys. Subic Beach in Kalintaan Island has the nickname of La Playa Rosa because of its pinkish powdery sand. What makes it blush are the nearby red corals that have been pulverized over time. There are actually two Subic Beaches on island. One is called the Eat or Small and a longer stretch called Daho or Big. You guys can do activities here such as swimming, snorkeling, diving. Spending a night at the island is the best option if you want to have a complete experience of the Subic Beach. So, I will give you time to enjoy and take pictures. But once you see this flag, it means that your time is up and you need to go to your next destination. Alright, tourists. Your time is up and we need to go to your next destination. But before that, let me do the head counts again, starting with you. One, two, three, and there are still 20 tourists. So let's go to your next destination that will be led by the lovely Miss Pawan. Thank you, Analeya, for your wonderful experience. Good day. I am Pawandip, one of the representatives of the KSAG Travel Services. I'm your tour guide here in the last destination in Albay, the Daraga Church. If you prefer the old churches, you will love the Daraga Church. But before we proceed to our destination, let me share some trivia about the church. It gives an ambitious for reflection and appreciation for the wonders of nature. In this church, you can pray anything for the achievement of your life, dreams and love, and also career to help the family. Another thing that amazes you with this church is the view of the Mayan volcano. The Raga Church is located on the bustling town right above the top hill and has been standing here as a true sign of free silence and unwavering faith of Bicolanos. The Church of Our Lady of the Gateway was built in 1773 by the Franciscan missionaries at the time when Daraga was just a part of Kagsawa. 
In the past, the church became a headquarter during the Second World War by the Japanese army and it has a very cool temperature and is located as an elegant and strategic location. You can walk and roam around the church, buy some souvenirs around the shop and explore the beauty of the religious structure. So I will give you time to enjoy and take picture but once that you see this red flag, that means your time is up. So your time is up. Let me do the head count. One, two, three, and four. So everyone is here? So how's the tour? Is it great? Yeah. Alright, I can see that you are satisfied and sleepy. So let's go back to our bus. We are going to be pulling up to the hotel in just few minutes. Please sit back and enjoy the view from the bus. Please double check to make sure your bag has been taken off the bus. So while we lead our way to hotel, we would like to thank you for choosing KS AG Travel Services and we hope that you enjoy our tour and learn something from me. Thank you for your attention everyone and in behalf of KS AG Travel Services, we wish a pleasant and memorable tour here in Albay. We are looking forward to see you again. Thank you.